Yeah, so I wanted to participate in this um, discussion. So a few things to share about myself. My name is Matthew Clay. Um, my education background is I, I got my bachelor's in biology education um, in 2010 from Pittsburgh State University. I got my master's in science education in 2014 uh, from Montana State University. And this summer, I will complete my doctorate in education um, and curriculum and instruction uh, from the University of Northern Colorado. So I defend my dissertation um, June 8th. I live in Dighton, Kansas, uh, so about 90 miles southwest of Hayes. I've been here for um, six years now, and I've, I've spent that time teaching junior high and high school science um, in the area. Um, my wife, it, Kristen, is a um, this year is going back to teaching special ed. She's been a special ed and math teacher um, for the last nine years. Um, we have a seven-year-old and four-year-old boys. Um, my experience with Blackboard, I've um, got to experience it from the student side um, on a handful of settings, um, and I've got to experience it a little bit from the instructor side, um, but not super recently. So uh, from the instructor side of Blackboard, I and mean, especially with the recent updates, there's quite a bit that I'm learning and figuring out. Um, so it'll be a learning process for me, um, as well as um, I'm sure for some of you. My teaching background is that for the past nine years, I have been a um, sixth through twelfth grade science teacher. Um, at times, I have um, I've taught a few entry-level college biology classes. Um, I've gone down to sixth grade, and most content areas and grades in between, I've taught at some point. Um, and I've really enjoyed my time in the classroom, um, and I'm excited about this new adventure of preparing the next generation of teachers. Um, some expectations I have for myself. One, my, my expectation or my goal is to help prepare you to make critical decisions about um, what is equitable, educational practice in your classrooms. Um, so my goal is not that I train you that do this, don't do this, um, but that we I equip you that you can make those decisions for yourself in the particular settings and classrooms and schools that you end up in. Um, and then also an expectation I have for myself is that I am a clear communicator about expectations, about um, deadlines, schedules, things like that, um, and that at no point in the class you feel frustrated with not knowing what to do. And then finally, just to introduce myself, um, some of my hobbies are, my, my hobbies all center around time in the outdoors. Um, so I, um, I am a trail runner. I enjoy um, running mountain and trail races. And um, over the last several years, that's um, gotten to take me to some really cool environments and landscapes um, through the Rocky Mountains, um, through Texas, quite a bit in Kansas, um, all over. Um, I've really enjoyed that. Um, I enjoy hunting. I'm involved. Um, I'm on the board of directors for the Kansas chapter of Backcountry Hunters and Anglers, which is a, a public land advocacy group. Um, so my hobbies and interests um, center around the outdoors, um, which has fit very well um, in the last several years as a science teacher. Looking forward to getting to know all of you. Um, please reach out if you have questions or anything like that, um, because um, even in this virtual setting, I want to get to know you um, as individuals, as students, so that I can better provide input and advice and help prepare you to be um, the next great generation of teachers.